Danny Washington, and welcome to Nature Knows Best. Robots have been built for a multitude of purposes, to explore places where humans can't travel, to improve automation in factories, or to ensure security and defense, among other reasons. And often, the inventors look toward nature to see how animals can help these robots do things humankind can't. From manta ray robots that look almost like the real thing, to fast running robots with two legs, inspired by the ostrich, and the list goes on. What if I told you that thanks to nature, we were developing robots that were not only fast, but could also jump over obstacles on their own? Well, MIT's Cheetah 2 is able to do just that and more. It's a case where scientists keep on trying, even when things don't always go as planned. This is the fastest mammal on land, the cheetah. It can run up to 70 miles per hour. They're almost flying. Because of their flexible body, they can create this gigantic stride. Sangbae Kim is an associate professor in mechanical engineering at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He's helped develop the cheetah bot. She can run up to like 40 miles per hour. Wow. Yeah. The cheetah bot was patterned after the real animal. Most of the robot muscles are in the body. The legs are skinny, like a real cheetah. The robot's electric motor can make it run, amble, or trot. Right now, our machine is as efficient as a real animal. Well, the cheetah bot may run like an animal, but it's not as sturdy. The biggest challenge is actually the making robot robust enough. When these machines fall, things are ugly. Can we get a fire uh... Still, Dr. Kim didn't give up. We learned a lot from that machine, and then we built a Cheetah 2 for like a full 3D version that can go out, run in the grass field and outside the uh, parking lot. So this is the Cheetah 2 as the second generation of Cheetah. How did you study the Cheetah to basically emulate using motors. So that's actually the core part of our research. We're trying to understand what the electric motor can do. There's so much difference between the muscles and the electric motor. And we managed to design our own version of electric motor, which is very different from uh, many different motors. Now it can be really explosive and uh, at the same time it's compliant. That's actually very important. This version of the Cheetah Bot can run on its own. It doesn't need a treadmill in a laboratory. But there are still some problems to work out. When it reached 14 miles per hour, robot actually start having kind of very strange oscillation and then start losing balance in a kind of funky way. We don't even understand enough that we can explain what's going on. The researchers laughed for a minute, but they kept working to improve the robot. They added the ability to jump. Our robot machine can actually jump about a meter high. But we don't know how to land from it. So it's a very challenging and exciting uh, task. That challenge didn't stop the research team. They just added a roll cage to the body of the robot. Now we have uh, this roll cage. As I said, it falls very easily, so we need to protect the robot. I think my favorite part about the Cheetah 2 is that it actually has Cheetah print on the roll cage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's a really nice touch. <laughs> Dr. Kim says we can use the cheetah bot to go into dangerous situations like radioactive explosions or deadly fires. Next, they hope to make it smarter so it can decide where to go on its own without anyone controlling it. So we actually can just tell, okay, click iPhone and uh, on Google map, okay, go to this place and the robot can actually navigate by itself. Keep us posted. We want to see yep. Cheetah 3. Yes. Next, the fastest animal on two legs becomes the robot. I just can't get over it. And this is huge. Is it a monster or a robot snake? You decide coming up on Nature Knows Best.